Well, I've talked to, you know, to date, there's over 105 men with the unique commonality of male breast cancer and their exposure to the toxic water aboard the Marine Base Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. And I've talked to each and every one of them on my list. And it's the same thing, you know, it's what I was saying earlier. Cancer is a battle of both the body and the spirit. And you may prevail or not on the battle of the body, but you must prevail on the battle of the spirit. You cannot allow cancer to change who you are in a sense, in a negative sense. You can't allow cancer, no, no, I'm sorry. You can't allow cancer to become who you are. It's, it's an invader, it's a foreign object in your body. It, it needs to be dealt with, but it is not you. It does not define you. And uh, when I meet men who, for the first time, um, who are just diagnosed with cancer, I tell them, go out and educate yourself. Find out everything you can about male breast cancer. Research your doctors. Check out the university hospitals near you. Know the treatments. Ask questions. And you know, become an advocate for yourself. And the other part is get your spirit in line. Get peace in your life. One of the worst things you can do going through cancer is to have chaos, an unsupporting partner in your life, be it a spouse, parent, children, you know, you've got to get that support because you need your resources. And also understand that the people who love you that are going through can uh, while you're going through cancer in their, own, in their own way are going through cancer themselves. It's just a different battle. There's nothing worse than seeing someone you love wither away through treatments, going through can uh, chemotherapy, you know, they're throwing up, they don't want to eat, they, they don't want to get out of bed. You don't know what to do or say. And the only thing you can do is just love. And when you're going through cancer, you have to understand that about your family. Be honest with them. Tell your kids, you know, how you're feeling. Tell them, you know, you love them and, and be involved uh, and understand that they're battling it just as much as you are too.